The rubrics have been designed to actually help teachers uh, look at their own classroom practice and reflect upon what they do. They, to me, are like an object to think with. They're looking at dimensions of 21st century learning that have been identified by many organisations as being important. Some places they're called 21st century skills, other places 21st century competencies. But basically they are a set of skills that we all value, like problem solving, knowledge construction, self-regulation. Uh, and they've been identified as these key skills before pe maybe only a small proportion of the population it was deemed necessary that they would have but now everybody needs these skills in order to live and survive so in order to do that we have to have a way of talking about how we design learning experiences what is it that we mean by collaboration uh, exactly what does it look like what skills are required uh, how do we design a learning environment that actually capitalizes on those skills and by having a shared understanding of what we mean, we can then discuss the learning environments we design with one another. And by doing that, we can reflect on our own practice and say, well, what it is that I need maybe to intervene, what I, ne what I need to actually develop in order to push this learning environment in a particular direction. If, for example, if they had their um, lesson unit and they were deciding they were going to look at collaboration, uh, and collaboration is something that we all think we know and understand and people would say, oh yes, I have my students collaborating, I put them in groups. But it never goes sometimes beyond that. What exactly are they doing? Are they actually working together? Are they giving feedback? Have they shared responsibility? Uh, are they actually making substantive decisions about the content or the process or the product? Uh, or are they actually creating, inter are they working interdependently? and is what they're working on um, so much interdependent that each piece you know, depends on the other for its actual successful completion. And that's what we're talking about, so that they can actually look upon the learning activity and say, am I actually integrating these things in it? And if so, what skills do I actually have to develop in my students as well, or help my students develop the skills of negotiation, feedback, listening, consensus, all those skills as well. So instead of it being sort of a woolly term that we think we might understand, you have a very different understanding of it than I might have. But at least by using the dimensions, we have a shared understanding or a meta-language that we can begin to use to talk about learning experiences.